Welcome back to my channel. This is Shin. So for today's video, I'm going to show you around Cagbalete Island. So I went here with my family and my friend um, just to visit for a night. It was a Saturday so uh, walang pasong kang kids at wala rin akong trabaho. We started our journey around uh, 3 a.m. as usual kasi nga galing pa kami sa Kainta. And going to Batangas, it took us approximately first two hours and a half so hindi naman siya ganun ka hassle magbiyahe kasi nga wala namang traffic in the first place anyway pasensya na kung maingay sa background nasa beach kasi ako ngayon and kailangan ko kasing madaliin to kasi tambak na yung mga i-upload ko mauban <laughs> ayun na yung boat be <laughs> Let's go. Oy, may ano, ano may signage pala. I love ano. Medyo na-hassle kami dito kasi hindi kami nakapag-book in advance ng accommodation. E nabot kami um, almost an hour para lang makapag-book ng bangka and everything. Um, okay lang naman. Medyo matagal na hintayin lang kasi they have to contact the hotel itself para lang ma-check kung meron pang available slots para sa amin. Mamang galit. Lagi na lang siyang galit. <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shin. So we're now here at Sagbalete Island Tourist Board. And um, nagbayad kami sa, uh, sa entrance, sa boat, and everything. Pag-book na rin namin ang reservation. So sa Villa Nuwe, nag-book kami for 8 packs. That's 4,000 pesos. And then, nag private boat kami, a uh, total of 3,500 pesos. And then, yung entrance dito is 640 pesos. So, yun. So, papunta na nga kami sa boat. May eksena pa dyan kasi we waited for approximately 15 to 20 minutes bago kami makabiyahe. May lady personnel kasi na parang ano, humarang sa kapitan. Ewan ko, it has something to do with paperwork ata and yung um, permit something that's the boat gamit mga bag daw muna te so despite ng pagharang nakaalis pa rin naman kami and as you can see it was such a bright and sunny day cloudy siya pero hindi siya yung rough yung dagat kalmado naman and buti na lang kasi may kids nervyosa kasi yung mga kasama ko so konting alog lang ng dagat na nervy sila sila kasi nga may mga bata hindi naman kasi natin masasisi kasi nga maliliit pa yung kids in case of emergency wala pa silang survival instinct and all that so it's better to be safe than sorry it took us an hour to get to the island. Um, again, hindi siya maalon, hindi maalog. Okay lang naman. It was safe. It was good. Um, the the water was very clear. It was blue, and um, that was such a nice journey. The kids were very excited. They're so happy because we went to Sano sa beach. They've been looking forward to it. They can't wait to um, to take a dip sa 
dagat and to have fun, to play around. So, ang sarap nang may kasama rin mga bata. Ang kukulit. Sobrang kukulit, lalo na yung pamangkin ko. Oh my gosh! So, ayun na nga. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I did my best to um, show you around the island. Though, hindi ko nalibot yung mismong island kasi nga, um, kulang ako sa time. And, sobrang init. Ang hirap kasing mag-ikot-ikot ng tirik yung araw. Kaya ayun. Tingnan mo yung bata ko. Feel na feel niya ang moment. Kakainggit. Gusto ko rin siyang gayahin. Kaso nga lang nakakatakot. Kasi pwede ako malaglag anytime. Konting alon lang. Pwede ka malaglag. I mean, I can swim. Pero hindi ako expert. Welcome to Cagbalete Island. Need kami dito nagstay pero kailangan na pumunta dito sa kabilang resort kasi nga wala kaming ano lutong food and gutom na yung mga kids kailangan namin kumain. Ang mga recommend sa akin siya kasi ata. That's the menu. And then dito sa kabilang meron pang isa. Yan, so meron kang options diyan kung anong gusto mong kainin for the day. It's not expensive, pero hindi rin siya mura. Parang okay lang naman. Pero um, yung amount naman ng food kapag kumuha ka ng parang pang 3 person, um, actually kasha naman. And okay naman yung timpla ng luto nila. Wala naman akong masabi. Masarap naman siya. Sino yung lalabas na yan? Pups! Okay, so this is the hut that we're renting. Ano pa iba? Meron pa doon? Yan naman yung lutoan. The beach. At isa pang ano. And then the toilet. Shower area. Ocean is calling me. <laughs> Moana. The ocean chose you. Oh, give me more. doesn't want me to go on beyond the reefs. <laughs> Do you know the story of how his friend died? Okay, 
I've been staring at the edge of the water Long as I could remember Never knew really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But can't come back to the water No matter how hard I try <laughs> the place I know where I cannot go where I long to Alas 5 pa lang, nag-blob-blob na kami ng hot tar, sa wah tar. 
dito sa Kagbaliti Mauban Kyoesyon o Lapman medyo madilim-dilim pa guys si Tabatsingsing saka si Biboy wala pa si Kansi yan sumunod sa amin bulaga <laughs> ayan pa si Pang time to swim ito tulit ito ito <laughs> Ayan, nag-exercise ko nohay sila kanina. Pero ang chan, medyo may ano pa, may laman pa. Naku, mabol na ang biboy. Ang forma ang biboy. Ay, scared. Wala akong damit. Ay, lang hati. Siyan, dambuhala ka na. O, ikaw naman ang sakay. I am currently here in Villanoe in Quezon province. Let's have a verdict of the place, the hotel, the food, and everything. So at first, um, we have to register sa tourism office ng Quezon province, dun sa Mauban port, and I paid um, 100 pesos per person dun sa um, tourism office hindi siya entrance fee Just check ko mami ako ano yun and then 640 doon sa tourism office 100 na 100 pesos per person naman um, for the entrance fee so 800 yun kasi walo kami and then 3500 sa boat rental nag private kasi kami kasi kapag hindi kami nag private boat matagal kami makarating so yung expense kasi uh, almost parehas lang din so, kailangan lang namin yung private boat. And next, I paid 4,000 pesos for the accommodation. Actually, happy kami ng kapatid ko since walo nga kami. And uh, we're staying here at Villanoe. Mamaya around 11 a.m. alis na kami. Balik na kami sa Mauban Port. So next, the food. And we went straight to Doña Choleng. Um, we had uh, tinola, pork adobo, and um, chop suey. For a total of 1,400 something pesos, including rice, eight, ano, eight cups of rice. Tapos yung tatlong ulam na yun, plus fried chicken para do sa friend ko. And, well, I would say na yung food masarap. Uh, I like tinola the per tasty niya. Um, for the pork adobo, hindi ko siya tinikman. Pero sabi ng sister ko, matamis daw. So, hindi nila masyadong like. And then yung chips, so yung natikman ko naman siya. I'd give it like 4.5 out of 5 stars. Parang ganon. Pero sa price niya, hmm, I'd say medyo expensive. So, kinagabihan, nagluto na lang kami. Yun, hindi naman kami masyadong nag-enjoy kasi marami lamok sa place. Nandiyan yung mga kubo-kubo. Uh, bumili yung mother ko and sister ko ng um, seafood and then nagrilled lang kami sa aing, nagrent lang kami ng kaldero so okay lang naman pero yung bed dito for 4,000 pesos na binayaran ko, I would say I'm really disappointed kasi isa lang yung fan out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 beds 8 kami tago din yung ano, yung as you can see, andun siya. Tago yung ano, tago yung nipahat niya. Walang masyadong hangin. That's why mainit siya pag gabi. So, kailangan siguro at least three, um, three electric fan. Para lang, alam mo yun, fan room nga. 
um, alam mo namang fan room, mainit. So, tapos yung electric fan pa nila, yung, yung wall fan. So, hindi lahat ng ano, nakahiga na tatamaan ng hangin. So, it's really bad. Tapos, ang dami ding lamok. Yung, um, yung hut niya, madaming butas. So, I didn't expect na ganun yung, ano, yung setup ng fan room. Anyway, wala akong magawa dito na kami. So, charge it to experience. Last night, we went swimming and then uh, early this morning, nag-swim din kami. Yung tubig hindi ganun kataas. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed kasi para siyang kalatagan Batangas. Medyo hindi masyado nag-enjoy. Medyo madamo. And ang bilis bumaba ng tubig. Yung mga, yung mga bata hindi masyado nag-enjoy din. Kasi nga, gusto sana nila mag-swimming pa before sana before mag 11 am kaso nga lang look at the water kitang kita mo na yung sand so yun um how would i rate kalatagan um kazon siguro out of 10 10 stars i'd give it 6.5 ganun um okay naman yung mga locals wala namang problema sa kanila uh, normal naman na yung mga nagbebenta ng mga kung ano-ano kapag nakaupo ka sa beach kahit saan naman merong ganun normal naman na yun but yung tubig at saka yung price ng mga ng pagkain I would rather go to ano to Leyte ang mura pa ng pagkain doon i-compare mo dito mas nakatipid kami doon maraming karinderya maraming options beaches hindi siya ganito kabataw so, ayun. Um, I have nothing against um, Quezon Province, Kala I mean, Cagbalete Island. Okay naman siya. So, okay. So, uh, actually, yung pinakamaganda dito is you will find it really peaceful lalo na dito sa Villanoe kasi wala masyadong tao. Ang mga guests kasi nandun sa Escapar, di ba? Ang pangalan nun and nasa Doña Choleng. No, kung relaxation at saka kung gusto mo lang mag-chill, yung nakaupo ka lang, walang maingay and everything, dito na kayo pumunta. Dito kayo mag-book sa Villano eh. Pero, um, kung gusto nyo nang laging may, may, ano, may kuryente, walang problema sa pag-charge ng phone, ganun, and um, may magluluto na sa inyo, or may mga, may restaurant na nearby, I'd say, box dun sa John, Donya Choleng, medyo pricing nga lang siya. More info lang pala din sa place na to sa tinulugan namin. So, we don't have electricity in the morning. So, from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. walang kuryente. Unlike other places like Doña Chole, meron silang power doon. May mga sounds and everything. Dito wala. So, isa pang nag-add sa disappointment namin. So, anyway, yun lang. Um, that's my verdict dito sa place. So, tanongin natin pa mga kinto. So, what can you say about the beach? Dali, para ma makita nila kung ano, kung mag -e enjoy sila kapag marerecommend mo ba tong beach na to sa mga katulad natin na guests, tourists, bakit hindi po? Ito yung tuwing naliligo ako, bigla nang nagpapakita yun. Correct. Yun nga, yung sarabi ko kanina sa kanila. Ano pa, yun lang? Ayun! So as you can see, disappointed ang nephew ko kasi nga, umbilis bumaba ng tubig. So our guests na gustong maligo, may maliliguan, yung malalim na liliguan para makapag-practice ng swimming and everything, this place is not recommended. Mm. Ayun lang. It's not being harsh, pero I'm just being honest. Hi there guys! Thank you for watching. I hope you'll watch um, my other upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, just leave a uh, comment down below. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye! We're leaving! Hi, Baklash. Hi, Mom, Les. Okay, so I'm going to bank at John. What do you want to go back here, Ma? I want to go back to my mother. It's nice to see Dali, 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 dali na. Umalik. Umano ka na dyan. Huwag ka na mag-straight. Okay. 
xa sát kia nắng Tố Ê, à, nó tố Nó ảo không đi Magdumagete ka tapos merong ano doon hot spring doon Wow, parang hindi ako nakaw Parang hindi tayo pumunta doon ha Dumagete, tingok Thank you. 